A girl, desperate to save the grandmother she loves so much, decides to escape from the orphanage. With nothing but her voice and a flute, she takes a risk on the streets, singing in a restaurant in the hope of raising money for her grandmother's surgery. But what she didn't know is that her courageous act would set off a series of unexpected events, capable of transforming the destiny of their lives forever. Hello, my friends. I am Linda, and this is the Linda's Stories channel. I hope you enjoy this story. Clara was a ten-year-old girl full of life and determination. Her curly brown hair framed a face full of freckles and curious green eyes. Since she was little, she had shown a natural talent for music, especially for singing and playing the flute. Clara loved creating her own melodies, which filled the small house where she lived with her grandmother, Eleanor, with joy. Mrs. Elena was a 70-year-old lady who always wore an elegant bun. Despite her advanced age, her eyes still sparkled with liveliness when she looked at her granddaughter. Elena had been raising Clara alone since the girl's parents died in a car accident five years ago. The two formed an inseparable duo, facing life's challenges together. Grandmother had worked as a seamstress for many years, but now she was retired. The retirement money barely covered the basic expenses, but Elena always did her best to provide the best she could for Clara. On weekends, the two loved to stroll in the city park, where Clara sang to her grandmother while they had simple picnics. However, in recent months, Elena's health began to deteriorate rapidly. She felt severe pain in her legs that limited her mobility. Initially, she tried to maintain her routine, but the effort became increasingly unbearable. Going to pick up Clara from school, preparing meals and taking care of the house became nearly impossible tasks. Clara tried to help as much as she could, but it was difficult for a child to take on so many responsibilities. Miss Elena became increasingly worried about Clara's future. She knew she couldn't properly care for her granddaughter under those conditions. Concerned about her granddaughter's well-being, the grandmother sought help from friends and acquaintances. But despite the affection many had for them, no one was in a position to take on the responsibility. With a broken heart, she made the difficult decision to temporarily place Clara in a shelter until she could recover and take care of her properly again. On the day Clara went to the orphanage, the two hugged and cried. Elena promised she would do everything to get better and bring her granddaughter back as soon as possible. Clara, even without fully understanding the situation, trusted her grandmother and promised to behave well. The first weeks at the shelter were very difficult for Clara. She missed her grandmother and her home very much. The other children were kind, but Clara felt out of place. At night, she would hug her flute and softly sing the songs she used to sing with Eleanor, trying to feel closer to home. Meanwhile, Elena was doing everything she could to recover. She went to medical appointments and did physical therapy, always thinking of Clara. The visits she made to her granddaughter at the orphanage were the highlight of her weeks. Elena would bring some treats to cheer up her granddaughter whenever she could. During one of these visits, Elena mentioned to Clara about a surgery she would need to have on her legs. It was an expensive procedure, not covered by the public health system. Hearing this, something stirred in Clara. Despite her young age, she possessed a maturity beyond her years. She couldn't just stand by while her grandmother suffered. That very night, she made a decision that would change their lives. Clara waited until all the other children were asleep. With her heart pounding, she took her backpack and placed her flute and some clothes inside. Silently, she left the orphanage through the first floor bathroom window. The city streets at night were scary for a ten-year-old girl, but she was determined. She walked until she reached the centre, where she knew there was more activity. She found a spot near some restaurants and started singing and playing her flute. At first, few people stopped to listen. But as Clara gained confidence, her music became more beautiful. Soon, a small crowd gathered around her. People were impressed by the girl's talent and left coins. A gentleman who owned a nearby restaurant, Mr Lemon, was enchanted by Clara's talent. He approached, amazed, and asked if she would like something to eat, offering her a meal. Clara, grateful but with a clear goal in mind, gently refused the offer of food and instead asked the man if she could sing and play in the restaurant in exchange for a portion of the cover charge. Impressed by the girl's determination, Mr Lemon accepted her request. 
Inside the restaurant, Clara enchanted the customers with her music. Her sweet and melodious voice perfectly matched the soft sound of the flute. The song she played and sang brought a mix of emotion and purity that touched everyone's hearts. By the end of the night, Clara had collected a considerable amount of money. The restaurant owner, impressed, invited her to return the next day. Clara accepted, happy with the prospect of being able to help her grandmother. As Clara was getting ready to leave, an elegant lady who had been dining at the restaurant approached her. She introduced herself as the owner's wife and asked Clara about her story. Moved by the girl's tale, the lady had an idea. My daughter is a doctor at a big hospital in the city, she said. Perhaps we can help your grandmother. Why don't you bring her here tomorrow so we can talk? Clara could hardly believe what she was hearing. With a heart full of hope, she agreed to return the next day with Elena. She spent the night in a youth shelter, anxious for dawn. The next morning, Clara went to her grandmother's house. Eleanor was shocked to see her granddaughter, a mixture of relief and worry on her face. Clara explained everything that had happened, begging her grandmother to accompany her to the restaurant. Elena, though apprehensive, couldn't help but feel proud of Clara's courage and determination. The two of them went together to the arranged meeting, uncertain of what to expect. At the restaurant, they were warmly greeted by the lady Clara had met the previous night. Shortly afterward, her daughter, Dr. Taylor, arrived. She was a middle-aged woman with a gentle smile and compassionate eyes. Dr. Taylor listened attentively to Clara and Elena's story. She was extremely moved and realized just how much support the two really needed and that she had the tools and resources to change their lives. She reviewed Elena's medical exams and asked a few questions. In the end, with a comforting smile, she said, I believe I can help. I know a specialized surgeon who can perform the surgery that Mrs. Elena needs. And the best part is we can do it for free through a hospital social program. Clara and Elena were overjoyed. They could hardly believe it. Tears of joy and relief streamed down their faces. Dr. Taylor continued explaining that she could also provide post-operative care and physical therapy for Elena. In the months that followed, Clara and Elena's lives changed completely. Elena underwent the surgery successfully and began her recovery. Clara was able to move back in with her grandmother, receiving help from social workers to ensure everything went smoothly. Clara's musical talent was not forgotten. The restaurant owner, enchanted by the girl's story, offered her a space to perform regularly. Clara continued singing and playing the flute, now no longer out of necessity but for the love of music. Dr Taylor and her parents became great friends with Clara and Elena. Over time, Clara and Elena's story spread throughout the town. Many people were moved and offered help. A small community formed around them, proving that love and solidarity can overcome any obstacle. Clara, now 12 years old, looked back and could hardly believe everything that had happened. Her courage and determination had not only saved her grandmother, but also opened up a world of possibilities she had never imagined. Elena, recovered and full of life, never tired of being grateful for the wonderful granddaughter she had. She knew that the love between them had been the driving force behind all that transformation. The two continued living together, but now in a more comfortable house, adapted to Elena's needs. Clara continued studying and developing her musical talent, dreaming of one day becoming a great artist. Clara never forgot the lessons she learned during that difficult journey. She knew that love, courage and determination could move mountains. Whenever she performed, whether at the restaurant or at city events, she dedicated her songs to all the people who, like her and her grandmother, faced seemingly insurmountable challenges. Elena, in turn, looked at her granddaughter with a mix of pride and gratitude. She knew that Clara had inherited not only the musical talent of her parents, but also an extraordinary strength of spirit. The grandmother now cherished every moment with her granddaughter, knowing that their love had overcome all obstacles. The city that once seemed so big and frightening to Clara was now a place full of friends and opportunities. She and Elena had found not only medical and financial help, but a true extended family in the people who supported them. Clara continued performing at the restaurant on weekends, but now she also participated in charity events at hospitals and nursing homes. 
Her music brought joy and hope to many people, just as it once brought to her and her grandmother. Elena, even after her recovery, continued participating in support groups for the elderly, sharing her experience and offering words of comfort to those going through similar situations. Their journey showed that even in the darkest moments, there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. Sometimes you just need the courage to take the first step toward it. And so, Clara and Elena continued their lives, grateful for each day they could spend together, surrounded by the love of each other and the wonderful people they had met on their journey. They knew that no matter what the future held, they would face everything together, with the same courage and love that had united them from the beginning. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment with a number from 1 to 5 to let us know how much you liked the story. Also, watch the video that is currently on your screen. See you soon.